What's going on guys, I'm Quoth and today I will show you how to install Plagio on your single player Lord of Destruction version of Diablo. I decided to do it since new version of Plagi came out early January, version 14.01 and thought it would be nice to refresh my installation and share it with you. First we are going to look into some changes that this version introduces, then to actual setup process and finally launching it and making sure everything works. As always, all the links will be in the description. And as a last thing, I believe Plug is probably one of the best mods created for single player usage and has been living for a very long time. If you are happy with it, consider donating to the awesome guy who made it. You will find options on the Plug site. Alright, on to the changes. I will not go over all of them, but rather highlight main points. Number 1. Compatibility to Lord of Destruction 1.14d thanks to Huxfix. So yeah, for all of you who just want to have Plagi on the newest version of Diablo, this is really nice. Quality of life improvements, number two. Decker Kane in Act 5 moved, Pindle Portal always opened, and breakpoints for player and mercenary added as additional screens. Number three. Integrated Uber Tristram fixes from Snapchip. Position, mobs, AI, so all of those uh, nice things that this amazing guy introduced in his uh, latest editions. Number 4. Bunch of stash management improvements. So easy page names and length increased, indexing, easy comments to toggle and swap uh, pages. So I used it a lot when farming to reduce stash management time and focus on runs only, for example. And number 5. Various minor fixes of different bugs and translation improvements. Okay, with this out of the way, let's go into installation process. Alright guys, let's start with installation. So as you can see, I have uh, different versions of Diablo 2 installed and to be honest, I prefer to just copy folders instead of uh, using D2SE. And yeah, so for the installation, I suggest you to have a clean version of Diablo. Uh, use legacy installer, it's quite important so you can get a version uh, of LOD 1.12 because um, the current Battle.net installer only uh, gives you version 1.14b which cannot be easily downgraded to for example 1.13c which uh, is also important if you for example want to install loot filter on top of your plugin. So here yeah I have the basic installation of 1.12 so now we want to upgrade it to 1.13c. For this, um, I will head on to the Plagi website. So you can see here the address. Also, link will be, of course, in the description. Uh, also, you can see the main changes that we went through in the beginning of the video. So here are basically all of them. Here you can donate to the guy to say thank you for his amazing work and just go down to the very end. So here are official load patches, uh, that will be uh, .exe installer, but uh, I would suggest using the zip one. I found it much easier. So let's get, uh, let's get this one. Okay, to the downloads. Let's give it a little bit of a second. All right, so installation is ready. Uh, let's get the file. So here is the, our zip folder. Let's go back to to the Diablo one. Here, I'll just paste it directly here. Right click, uh, 7-zip and extract files here. Uh, yes, we want to replace everything. Okay, good. So now let's check the version. Let's load it. Okay, as you can see, it's 1.13. Uh, yeah, you can create characters, so all good. Let's close it. And now let's move on to installing Plagi. So the same way I will download uh, the zip version for one version 14.01. Uh, Again, uh, just because I already have multiple installations, so I prefer to use zip, so I don't need to mess around with the uh, installer. Again, let's save it there. Here, uh, let's take this one, go back to our place. All right, let's paste it here. Inside you basically have, yeah, the uh, 
plugin DLL folder and uh, the thingy. Let's create here a new folder, call it plugin mod. Let's get the file, uh, put it in here and extract files here. All right, so first of all, let's also, yeah, change the, uh, create the, of course, the shortcut, then uh, go to the options, compatibility, and let's add the compatibility with uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3, and also uh, launching it from the administrator, right? Okay, now, so we can, yeah, of course, go in, uh, but I still want to have a quick look into the um, plugin.ini file. Here you have all the different settings uh, that you can adjust upon your liking. So that's also fine. Uh, maybe we can uh, do it a little bit later, but uh, yeah, those are all the basic settings of the mod. All right, so let's add a um, windowed comment here so you can do it this way uh, open the options and just add minus or dash w okay let's now turn it on okay 1.13c plaggy 14.01 uh yeah we can already create characters but um what i want to do is actually get my um, save files so into the original folder let's go back i you can see last time i played lod it was december 16 so i have all my backups which i also recommend you all to do all the time so let's get into here copy everything and go back to the d2 folder and paste it over here all right, so now back to the Plangy mod folder. Let's launch our shortcut and check it out. Make sure that everything is working. Single player. And yeah, so here actually everything. Um, so that was my Matriarch Mia. The last time I played it was Sorceress for the amazing Ancient Tunnels runs. And okay, let's check it out if everything works well so do i have all my items yep everything is here is the thing here let's look into the stash so personal page oh you see they added a lot of tooltips so this is very handy my personal stash is there okay let's go into shared one yep everything looks perfect Yeah, that actually looks really, really nice. And actually, let's look into one thing. I wanted to see the additional screens. So this is already known. This with resistances. And the breakpoints. Voila. So here it is. Really nice. Breakpoints for sorceress and also for the mercenary. So you can always see basically all of them here. Amazing. I cannot say how happy I am. Also, our screen is in... Uh, is not in there so if you also want to lock for example your mouse just yeah right lock and now it will be staying inside the borders amazing this is really awesome so yeah cool i hope uh, it worked well for all of you as well so if there is something uh, of course uh, let me know in the comments and i will try to help out and we'll find a solution to different problems so thank you that is pretty much it as you can see, it is a simple process and should work for everybody. Also, that means that I will be back to LOD as well and will mix in content with Project Diablo 2. I still would love to complete Vanilla Holy Grail quest in my LOD version. I also plan to showcase Loot Fielder install, so stay tuned. And for now, thank you for watching and hope everything works fine for you. Cheers!